Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to be building a USB to XD60 uh, adapter for your charging your phone. It just comes to a lipo battery. So you can charge your phone at the field or something like that or, or a um, USB soldering iron. So let's get to it. First you want to crack this thing open. So here's one I already opened up and I just took the the um, I unsoldered the thing, the pin back here. There was a little spring back here. I unsoldered that, and then there was a little clip. So I just pulled it off. So here's what I've got here. And I actually, I actually purchased this from Hobby King. So if you're looking for it, I got it on sale at Hobby King. So if you're looking for them for cheap, that's where I got it. Okay. So um, so first we're gonna look for a positive and a negative. You can see that this is the positive. It doesn't actually tell you, but that's the positive. And then this whole entire harness here is the negative. So we're going to pull it from back here. So the pins go into here. So we're going to pull the negative from right here. Okay, so later I'm actually going to print a 3D printed frame for this, case for this also. So we'll see that afterwards. So let's get to it. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I already pre-soldered some joints there, and I'm going to attach here to the positive, and I'm going to run a wire from here to the negative here. Okay, so you can see here that joint that I just made is a solid connection, the board and the XT60, so I'm just going to make a wire from here to here for the negative. Okay, so I got it all finished up, and there's the finished product. You got a wire from here to here. And then that's just soldered directly onto the board. So it looks amazing. It's very clean. So now I'm just going to print 3D printed frame. I'm going to go design that right now. So let's jump on the computer and get to it. I got my 3D printed part all finished up and it looks very nice. Here's the bottom and there's like a cap for it. Okay, so we're going to stick there. We're going to stick this thing in here and see how it fits. So it just slides down in here like this, and then it catches on this lip right here, so it's not going forward. And then this piece catches on this lip, so it's not going backward. So it really doesn't move very much when it's in there. So now a cap that sits on top like this, and it looks really nice. So this is actually my version one. I will actually put the version two. I already changed a couple things. I decided I needed to change. I put. I will put the version 2 in the link below and you can print it out yourself and build one yourself. So thanks for watching, I hope you love this video. Um, please like and subscribe to help me out with my videos, keep them going and thank you very much, have a great day.